Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're going to find the area of a circle. We're going to do it using this formula. A equals pi r squared. Super easy, super quick, let's get going. Hi. Okay, let's break down the formula real quick. A is the area of the circle. R is the radius, or half of the diameter, right? So radius or diameter, and we can find the area. And this funny little guy right here is known as pi. And a lot of times for pi, we will use the numbers 3.14 or you might even have a button on your calculator that is pi because it's actually a much longer number and explanation. So that's going to be in a separate video. For this one, we'll use 3.14, but I do want you to know that it's a much longer number. I think it's actually... Okay, we're going to dive right into an example here. So let's say we had a circle. And we know that the radius is 4. If the radius is 4, we have everything else we need to find the area. So let's use our formula. A equals pi. We know the radius is 4. And we need to square it, so I'm going to keep the little 2, which means to multiply this 4 times itself before we multiply by pi. Let's keep going. So the area equals pi, and now 4 squared, that just means to multiply 4 times 4, and I get 16. Now. You can write the answer two separate ways on this one. We could say that the area of this circle is 16 pi. That answer works for a lot of situations. But if you want to take it one step further, you would say that the area equals 16 times 3.14. And that is going to give me 50.24. So the area of a circle with a radius of 4 is going to be 50.24. Let's do another one. Another quick example here. What if we have a circle and they give us a diameter? We know the radius is half of that. So if the diameter is 6, we can really just think about it and take half of 6 and that gives me 3. Which is the radius. And now we have everything we need to find the area. So let's go ahead and plug in. A equals pi. And I know that my radius is 3. Half of 6. 3 squared. So A equals 3 times 3. is 9. So I'm just going to flip those around because it looks a lot cleaner. A equals 9 pi. Perfect. Now let's use the 3.14. A equals 9 times 3.14. And we're going to get, I think it's 28 point two six two for the area with a diameter of six or a radius of three let's tackle one more this time with decimals 
So what if you had a radius of 1.2? I hate decimals. A equals, I'm going to use my pi symbol. I'm just going to plug this 1.2 and square it. And the cool thing about this is when you square 1.2 it's actually like multiplying 12 times 12 just with a decimal. So I'm going to rewrite it as a equals pi and then 12 times 12 is 144 except I have a decimal. So 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44. Now one more step. A equals 1.44 times pi. And if you want to plug it in your calculator, go ahead. Let's see what we get. The last thing we're going to do is look at a really common area problem where you might be given a shape like this and you're asked to find the area. And it's really just two area problems at once. We have a square and then we have a circle but we have half of a circle. So we're going to need to think about it and use our heads on this one, right? And remember, sometimes when solving problems... You have to use your head. Okay, let's look. If this was a square, I would call this the length and this the width. And we know to find the area of a square, it's just length times width. So, I'll put that in here. Right? So we know that the area of this is 64. Now we need to find the area of a circle with a radius of 4. And we did this in the first example, but let's do it again. So I know that the area is pi times 4 squared. Right? 4 is my radius. I'm plugging it in. So the area is, and I'm going to do this, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 pi. Right? Now, I have one other step. I'm going to multiply this 3.14. Remember, pi is 3.14, and I get 50.24. But we're not done, right? This is where we need to use our heads. Because this circle is not a full circle. This is the area of a whole circle. But we only need half of it. If we use the entire area, we would be counting this portion twice. So we're going to use half of 50.24 and we're going to add it to 64. So we take this area of the square Right? And we're going to divide this by 2, and I get 25.12. Right? Now we need to add these. What do I get here? 89.12. That is the area of a funky little shape. I think I was going to say something else, but... It's gone now. See you next time.